Welcome back to another basic game maker studio tutorial and this time I'm gonna show you a cool nice little background effect which is a swirl or how you actually call it it's a vortex so this is a very very cool background effect and quite easy to do that in a few minutes so if you want to know how to do that in game maker studio and subsequently in photoshop stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i upload every day a video and share my stuff because this is how the channel grows because it doesn't grow so let's get right into the good stuff so here we go our vortex is just basically one huge image and for example once we disable it as you can see my room is quite small it's like 480 by 270 so definitely very small and just put it in to put the image in what i do i just rotate it so let's get into our object which i just put in so this is the guy you see and there is not too much to it it's just basically an image which you need to middle center because you want to have the center of the vortex um, aligned so you can rotate it correctly and it's uh, 660 so it's just bigger than the room but of course you can artificially upscale it this is of course up to you depending how much uh, you want it to look well bigger and smaller sometimes it's just better if it's smaller but i just well like to have it as a huge image which is generally a waste of resources but I'm gonna do it anyway. So the first thing, quite easy. I just want to maybe upscale it manually. So I just put it in my image. And then I say, hey, scale one, and then upscale it to my image X scale and Y scale with the variable scale. Of course, now if I would kill that, it wouldn't change anything because it's one to one, but maybe I want to upscale it. Or let's say I do something which is a nuclear theorem. You just increase the scale. so. The vortex becomes so big just pops out of the screen so this is a way how you can do that but then you have to poke a hole into the complete center so this does work then the second thing is i want to have a rotation speed which is a minus value and then i just put it uh, into a step event and just add it all the time to my image angle bam easy easy peasy so this just rotates all the time this is good and then well, make it a little bit transparent, so image alpha 0.8 or less, depending how you want it. And then the interesting part is the image blend, so you can put different colors in there, because as you can see, that thing is black and white. So this is how the image blend works the most effective. If it's just black and white colors, you can have the best color overlay. So I just say, hey, what kind of color overlay do I want to have? see purple then i just go into the draw event which is again an optional thing i just say blend mode add and then we set it to blend mode normal and just draw it so let's go into the more interesting part how can you actually create that thing because in the end it is just a big image so here i just do one thing i just make a new layer fill it up with i don't know green so i just fill it up then i press uh, ctrl t and get those rulers snapped in bam bam and then show them with uh, ctrl h i don't know you go under view and show that things you can do it whatever you like and here i just want to have a second thing this is of course a very cheap and effective way how to do that but of course you can play around with a little bit more here i just create another object which i'm gonna loop make centered from a line here so let's make it like let's say like this big fill it up with another color this is just like some some cheap and easy way how to set it up so you can do that differently but i like it so i'm just gonna do it and here we actually come to the part we want to create because we're creating cone so let's go come on where are you no 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 gone no no ah here we go so we go from this point 
to uh, this point to uh, this point and here we go we got our first cone fill it up with a color i don't know let's make it red so it's quite but you can see it then kill uh, hello kill those layers which you don't need yes go away go away yeah we don't need you as well so we just have our first cone that i'm just gonna click on it uh, copy it turn it around with uh, Control t which is which is short for transformed of course you can do that manually with i don't know select and then i don't know do something but i just um, do it here quickly duplicate the layer so bam and merge them together and i'm gonna do that very quickly just turn it around as you can see does work quite quickly bam duplicate it again rotate it as you can see it forms up which is kind of nice and easy way how to do that bam now we're just missing uh, four let's duplicate it one more time and two more times and then we are pretty much done uh, one more time duplicate come on come on come on let's make that faster and here we go we got our first sunbursts but of course we don't want to have everything we just go from the complete center our mouse is kind of a bit difficult let's zoom in a little bit take the selection tool press alt you can do something like this press alt and tab so it uh, well does it in uh, rectangle fashion so it's proportional bam cut it out make this thing here and then for now this looks already pretty good then we need to make the vortex which is just quite easy you just go on the filter distort and before we do that we actually need to merge all of them so we have it as one image my bad again and let's go for distort twirl and as you can see here you can just play around how hard the vortex looks like it doesn't really matter so just go to something like this wham and then as you can see it is a little well distorted on the top sides so on the outsides it is a little bit uh, not looking good and therefore we just cut it out we do the, the selection again thing like uh, something like this Cut it out to this point and bam we got our first well and that of course we need to put into a different mode because we want it to be grayscaled so we can make the image blend more effective and then save it as a png so bam png 24 and then you put it just into the game and then you're pretty much set so let's I don't know, give it another all overlay. What do we want? Let's go for C red. And see how that looks like, because I haven't actually changed anything. So this is a quick and dirty way how to make your own vortex as a background thing for your game. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Have a good one. One up indie.